Welcome to the product overview presentation for the Microvision Boiler. I'm Dave. And I'm Mike. In this video, we're going to review the features and benefits of the Microvision Boiler, including helpful information on the setup and operation, which shows exactly how easy it is to use this controller in the field. Some of the key features of the Microvision Boiler controller are the rugged NEMA 4X enclosure. Standard temperature compensated probe is rated for 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 250 PSI. And of course, the unit can be operated in non-temperature compensated mode. The Microvision Boiler has three sampling modes, continuous, timed, or sample and hold modes. The controller comes factory set in the time sample mode with preset set points and differentials. Blowdown control is accomplished with a powered relay that allows for either motorized ball valve or solenoid valve connection. There are three powered relays for control of chemical metering pumps. Each has selectable timers with five different options. The controller has a dry contact relay for remote alarm conditions. And of course, a standard feature is a 4 to 20 milliamp output for accurate reporting of the conductivity levels. There are a total of five digital inputs that can be configured as water meters, drum levels, or boiler interlock. And the large graphical display shows the information that you need to see. The Microvision Boiler is available configured to meet your needs. Both pre-wired and conduit units are available. The pre-wired unit includes a standard U.S. power cord, and conduit units come pre-drilled with half-inch conduit connections. System options include solenoid valves and orifice unions, throttling valves and motorized ball valves, packages for time sample and continuous mode. Of course, these are available pre-assembled from pulsive feeder or as individual components, however you choose. Sensor options allow you to order the microvision with or without the sensor. And the standard cable length of 10 feet is at no charge with options up to 150 feet available. Proper installation of the enclosure and the probe are important to the quality operation of your system. For example, the controller should be mounted on a rigid surface away from the heat and vibration of the boiler. Keep in mind that you should allow enough room to fully open the enclosure's cover and open the access panel to allow for easier wiring. The proper installation of the probe is important to reduce steam flash. Steam flash can affect the longevity of the probe's life in addition to affect the accuracy of conductivity readings. Proper installation of the probe is essential to reduce steam flash. Install the skimmer line approximately six inches below the water level in the boiler. Then run approximately two to four feet of one inch pipe to the cross inlet side. Next, install a minimum of 12 inches of half inch pipe from the connectivity sensor over to the orifice union or throttling valve. Then install another 12 inch piece of half inch pipe over to the motorized ball valve. Maintaining these pipe diameters and distances will ensure optimal performance of your system. Installation of the probe in a continuous sample mode is very similar to the time mode. Run a 12 inch piece of 1 inch pipe before the sensor and a 12 inch piece of half inch pipe after the sensor. When working with orifice unions, make sure the proper orifice plate is installed in the union. Install the sensor into the cross and then align the two flats so that they are perpendicular to the pipe. This will ensure the sample flows through the opening at the tip of the sensor. Inside the conduit box on the sensor, there is a terminal block that identifies the color code of the wiring. In order to wire the sensor, open the front panel of the controller and locate the conductivity daughter card. There's a connector located on the bottom of the circuit board, and there is also a label on the board to help you identify which colored wires go where.
Inside the controller, the incoming AC power and all of the output terminal locations are clearly identified by a label. Programming of the Microvision Boiler is easy and intuitive, and it offers great flexibility with the menus, as you'll see in a moment. It's even pre-programmed from the factory in timed sample mode, which is the most common, literally plug and play ready. If you would like to change the default settings for the time sample mode, simply press the menu key from the main menu. Next, enter the settings menu. Then enter the blowdown menu. Enter sample mode. Here you can change the type of mode that the controller is operating in if you wish. Or you can press select at time mode and it will give you the settings for the time sample mode. Calibration is simple and intuitive. Simply press the menu button, enter the settings menu, then the blowdown menu, and arrow down to probe cal. When you press select, the controller will prompt you to enter a value that you can obtain with your handheld tester. This is the actual connectivity of the boiler. Use the arrow button to move over to the next position. Change the values as necessary with the up and down arrow keys, and then press enter, and then OK. The controller will automatically begin a sample time and ask you to wait until it completes that sample time. At the end of the sample time, the controller will lock in the calibration value. Once it is done with the calibration, simply press the OK key and then press the back key as necessary to get to the main menu. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We certainly hope that the information provided was helpful to you. For more information on Pulsifeeder products, please visit our website at pulsifeeder.com. Thank you.